continue reading from Bhagavad Gita Mahatmya the glories of chapter 3 of the Bhagavad Gita from the Padma Purana chapter 3 Lord Vishnu said Lakshmi in the town of Janasthan was a brahmana of the name Jada who was born in the dynasty of Kaushik that brahmana gave up the religious activities and joined in the shastras to be followed by the brahmana class and took to many irreligious activities he was very fond of gambling and drinking hunting and visiting the prostitutes in this way he wasted his wealth he went to the northern countries on a business trip while there he gained much wealth and decided to return to janasthan after having traveled a long distance he found himself in a very deserted place one day as the sun set and everywhere became engulfed with darkness he decided to take rest for the night under a tree while resting some robbers came and beat him to death and he stole his wealth because jada has given up all religious activities and led a sinful life after his death he attained the form of a ghost the son of jada was very religious and learned in the vedic shastras when he saw that his father had turned had not returned to janasthan after a long time he decided to go and search for him for many days he traveled here and there in search of his father and whatever travelers he would meet he would inquire from them about his father one day he met one person who knew his father and informed him of the events that had taken place when the son of jada heard the news of his father's death he decided to go to kasi banaras to offer pinda worship for the release of his father from his hellish condition on the ninth day of his journey he happened to take rest under the same tree under which his father had been killed at that place in the evening he performed his daily worship to lord krishna and he also recited the third chapter of shrimad bhagavat gita as he completed his recitation a loud sound came from the sky when he looked up he saw his father there and in front of his eyes his father's form changed into one of the most beautiful beings who had four hands and he was wearing a yellow dhoti his body was the color of a dark rain was wearing a yellow dhoti his body was the color of dark rain cloud and his bodily effulgence was lightning up all the directions at that time his father offered his blessings to him the son inquired from the father as to the meaning of these wonderful happenings the father said my dear son you recited the third chapter of bhagavad gita and thus freed me from the ghost form which i had received due to my sinful activities now you should return to your home because the purpose of which you were traveling to kasi banaras has been achieved by reciting the third chapter of bhagavad gita when the son inquired from the father if there were any further instructions from him the father said my dear uh, said my brother also had a led very sinful life and he is suffering somewhere in the darkest regions of hell so if you wish to free him and our other ancestors who are suffering here and there in different species in the material universe then kindly recite the third chapter of shrimad bhagavad gita and by that recitation they will all attain a form similar to lord vishnu's and go to vaikuntha when the son heard the father's instructions he replied if that is the case then i will recite the third chapter until all the souls who are trapped in the hellish life are freed At that time his father blessed him with the words let it be then an airplane arrived from the spiritual world of vaikuntha and took the father to his destination thereafter the son returned to janasthan and sat in front of the deity of lord krishna <coughs> and with a desire to free all of the conditioned souls in the hellish condition he started reciting the third chapter of shrimad bhagavad gita while his recitation was continuing day after day lord vishnu sent his messengers the vishnu dutas 
to the kingdom of Yamaraj, who is in charge of administering punishment to the sinful living entities. When the Vishnudutas arrived in front of Yamaraj, they informed him that they had a message from Lord Vishnu, who is lying on the bed of Ananta Shesha in the ocean of milk. They told him that Lord Vishnu was inquiring as to his welfare and also was ordering him to free all of the cognizant souls who were suffering in hell. When Yamaraj heard this instruction from Lord Vishnu, he immediately had all of the conditioned souls released from hell and then personally went with those Vishnudutas to the ocean of milk known as Swetadvip to have the darshan of Lord Vishnu. When he arrived there, he saw Lord Vishnu lying on the bed of Ananta Shares. His body had the effulgence of suns and Lakshmi Devi, the goddess of fortune, was massaging his feet. He was surrounded by, surrounded on all sides by rishis, sages and demigods, headed by Lord Indra, who were all singing the praises of Lord Vishnu. Lord Brahma was also present there, reciting the Vedas. Yamaraj fell down and offered his respects before Lord Vishnu and offered the following prayers. My dear Vishnu, you are the well visa of all the conditioned souls. There is no limit of your glories. From you the Vedas have come. You are time, and in the course of time you will destroy all things. You are the cause and maintainer of the three walls, and you are the super soul in everyone's heart, who is directing the activities. You are the guru of the whole universe, and the goal of all devotees. O lotus-eyed one, please accept my obeisances again and again. Your glories are unlimited. In this way, Yamaraj with folded hands, offered his respects to Lord Vishnu, Yamaraj continued, As per your instructions, I have released all the conditioned souls from hell, so kindly struck me what work you wish me to perform now. Lord Vishnu replied, in a voice as deep as thunder and as sweet as nectar, My dear Dharamraj, Yamaraj, you are equal to everyone, and I do not need instruct, I do not need to instruct you on your duties. Kindly return to your abode with my full blessings and continue your duty. At that time, Lord Vishnu disappeared from the vision of Yamaraj and Yamaraj returned to his own abode. After that, Brahmana and successfully freed from all his ancestors and the rest of the conditioned souls from hell. The Vishnu Dutas came and took him to the abode of Lord Vishnu, where he was able to engage in the service of the lotus feet of the Supreme Personality of Godhead eternally.